Uh, when doing arcade games, this is like going doing some as well as music as well as something else. Um, music sounds and the, the art to do strike pixel art using uh, Microsoft MS MS Paint or something or Photoshop. Uh, the art to translate a picture to something like pixel. Uh, in low resolution, you know, the RK Game Studio use a resolution of 256, 256 square by 256 display, and this is what uh, this is used to really good resolution. This is really, resolution is really compared to uh, the, the NES in uh, 60 with some. Opportunity to uh, to do some um, big sprite like I love the big big sprite like uh, so you can do some um, up to 192 pixel square by 192 pixel one way sprite um, animated as well just like the black V other stuff and um, like the title, fashion title, title flash, um, the wake, wake up scene, you know, they used it in John Cadwell there. And, um, this is really cool using RJ Davis to do you. Doing gaming as well as doing music, shit tune music, as well as uh, uh, doing sprites. This is another way of art, you can express yourself with the, the kind, kind of. The way you see the word and then reinvent the word and create never done before the game. This one, the last one I worked on is a, it's a project is a um, Pac-Man maze like, in, in, including the notice screen, the title screen, the ranking screen, and then the intro. I love this intro and that. Uh, I do the big 128 sprite of Johnny, and then. Um, a background just like the you know the, the man, uh, manga cartoon chalk or something like a fighter. <laughs> I really love so arcade game studio. I really love. Well, I want to just looking for the man behind this uh, arcade game engine as Bruno Marcos, and Bruno Marcos really missing us since 2015. I don't know what's happened with him. I don't know what. Um, Maybe he's dead, maybe I'm not. This is a guy from Spain, a Spanish guy do a really great, great job. And this is, um, this one is coming from 2013, the last version, no more update, no more news about uh, his vlog, about the, his Twitter, about this. So I really love to produce game with Arcade Game Studio because it, it did it really fast without any coding and stuff like that. You shoot from a horizontal shooter, vertical shooter, a maze, a platform game, and run and gun, and that, that sort of thing. That's what you can do with that. This is what I love uh, making video games in my spare time. I started to do some tutorial about the uh, arcade game to do in French, unfortunately. But um, this is what video game, arcade retro video game, uh, is a piece of art. Uh, because you can, you can be some, some of these, you can make a game only with yourself, only one person or two person to do a game compared to nowadays 3D game like <laughs> a complete staff like a, you know a movie a movie producing staff like that. So don't, the, the good the good old time when in the 80s only one person do. A video game, only one man, only one woman, or whatever. Favorite uh, arcade game, the developer. Uh, well, uh, of course, my favorite one it was a legendary um, Eugene Jarvis. You know the guy, uh, the, 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 the wonderful smiley old man uh, who did uh, the who was the father of Defender Robot Run 2084, uh, Narc, uh, Smash TV. As well as um, Smash TV and uh, Total Carnage, and uh, as also Eugene Jarvis 
started up his, his own company, Creative Trading. Um, made away, worked for me away your your time. And in 2000, he started his own company and did some awesome arcade racer like um, Fast and Furious, with, where we can see um, the engine of um, the joy of uh, San Francisco Rush and uh, the cruise in USA. You know, you all want to do the cruising arcade racer series as well. So the Raging Jar Race is really cool. Um, one of my favorite game developers. So this is what arcade, making an arcade game is a piece of art compared to the complex nowadays gaming. This is a pixel, you take less place, only a maximum 6 megabytes of the game, or 4, or 3, or whatever. And, um, what does this picture cost on, only some kilobytes? And then um, good, uh, the, 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 the art of the um, the arcade found just like what this one, this is a Namco classic 8-bit font as well as the same basic um, uh, NES, Nintendo NES font. I really love this font. It also can add different font, change the font as well. This is the sound that the, the, the character set can change that. So, so this is why um, arcade game is a retro arcade game is a new piece of art. And I can produce a lot of games in the spare time uh, as fast as possible. This is what uh, this is not another my passion outside music and uh, video uh, stuff like that.